Welcome at the zoo and today we are going to draw the leopard shark, also known as the zebra shark. Amazing animal. So here we are, uh, I'm at this huge aquarium and here you can see it our model for today it's the leopard shark and look at that tail look at that tail it's it's huge and I didn't even notice it I was watching some some pictures of the leopard shark but uh, now that I'm standing here live at the zoo drawing in life um, well it's just amazing to see um, how, how, how huge this animal is and how it's moving around and um, well he's just uh, well moving graciously through the water and uh, well I just love it um, he's swimming uh, above me uh, underneath me, me and look at that tail again it's just huge and um, there's a wreckage also here I can see and I can see uh, how blue everything is but it's also dark and um, look at that mouth I can see his mouth it's very tiny and they are very very friendly animals divers love them and um, well they, they, they tend to scrape scrape uh, off the, 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 the floors and the rocks and stuff so it's not a flesh-eating monster and it can lay down it does not have to move constantly to uh, to get uh, uh, oxygen and those uh, kinds of, of things so well it is um, nice to see I'm uh, now and then I just have to look around where it is and and then all of a sudden it, it pops out again and then I can uh, do some more sketching and sketching and of course I will take these sketches back to my place and then um, look there it is again and then I will uh, see what it brings me see what a kind of uh, material I will apply I'm guessing a little bit of pampastel maybe. Let's see what it brings us. So here we are back at home and we're going to draw this amazing shark. It's very beautiful. Uh, I loved being at the zoo and I got a good impression about this uh, beautiful shark. And what I want to do first is to create a background. And you can do this uh, in two kinds of ways. That is using pastel uh, char uh, charcoal uh, bars. And then you take a makeup sponge and then you simply, uh, well, drive in those pigments into the paper. Or you can use uh, pan pastel <coughs> and pan pastel is also a very nice to use and create a beautiful background and what I do first is use the black uh, because uh, the surrounding of the shark is very very dark very very dark indeed and I'm using the Stratmore charcoal paper and I, that does not come in this kind of color plus I want to create <coughs> I want to create um, the the seawater and the light that is shining through that seawater and at Burger Zoo they did an amazing job with the lighting so I'm using black as uh, the first layer then uh, a little bit of blue on top and then dark purple for the bottom part and then the light blue to create some kind of light uh, shining through the water and the light of course is coming from above 
and uh, I simply use uh, well the makeup sponge plus I also have a pen pastel knife to create uh, some kind of beams sun beams coming through the water and once I am happy with uh, with the whole background then I just simply clean it up I clean the edges up with the eraser now it's time to start drawing in the leopard shark and um, well what I noticed when I was drawing the shark life is that the tail part is just as big as the head and the body and in this case uh, I got this reference picture from uh, Burger Sue so thank you Burger Sue for this and uh, in this case the tail is going just around the bend so the shark is uh, well gracefully moving through the water and um, what I also noticed and that is because when uh, these kind of sharks are young they kind of have a zebra pattern so some people call this the zebra shark but as they grow older, um, those zebra markings uh, uh, tend to go away a little bit more and then the dots of the leopard come through. So uh, that's why this is also called the leopard shark. But you can still see the patterns of the, uh, the zebra shining through. And that's great because then I know we're about to put the, the spots of the leopard uh, pattern. So first I go for uh, the pattern of the zebra, kind of, um, well, copying it. Not exactly copying it from the picture, just I'm using as much as I can my uh, rem remembering uh, uh, what, this, what this shark uh, brought me. <clears throat> and the beautiful light, the beautiful light that is on, on top of the back and then the shadow part which is underneath, um, underneath the fins and the belly that is, um, well that brings us a lot of, of 3D so that's what I want to, uh, to grasp in this drawing. You can see the cues, you can see the eye and you can see the ear entrance just uh, behind the eye and then I can start a little bit with uh, drawing in some uh, some dots, leopard pattern dots and uh, I also use a light yellow for the top part of this shark but I'm tapping everything in. The shark um, needs to be a little bit blurry, not too sharp, no sharp edges because it's uh, moving through water. So, um, well, I want to keep it uh, as soft and as smooth as possible. And for the underneath of the shark, I'm using more the blue pigments and also these I ease down into the paper and that is this kind of blue is a uh, magnificent sh uh, shadow color so I use it here a little bit for the tail um, here is just the edge of the fin I draw that in too and then I can simply um, start looking for those uh, spots of the leopard and I'm not copying each and every spot just a few of them so that uh, you can see that this is not uh, any kind of shark but this is especially the leopard shark <coughs> and um, well, what also uh, came to my attention is when I was there at the zoo they have a enormous collection of also tropical fish and uh, well it's it's warm seawater 
and I didn't want to only show the leopard shark. I also want to show the bright colors of uh, the little tropical fish that also surrounds the uh, the shark. They have uh, well different kinds of sharks there, but a lot, a lot of tropical fish. So I simply just draw in a few and um, I'm keeping them in the bottom part of my drawing so that the attention keeps going towards the leopard shark. But I do want some bright colors because the leopard shark itself uh, has no bright colors at all. It's more, well, grayish, a grayish fish. So uh, I'm just using some colors for the fish. They're not accurate. A little bit of blue, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red, just to, um, well, see some colors there. And my black charcoal pencil for uh, some markings here. And then, well, I think that brings uh, my drawing a little bit more, <clears throat> more to life. And they were actually there, a lot of them, so. Well, I like it. I like the little fish. And I truly hope you will give this a try. It's an amazing animal. And the real-time version, of course, can be found on my Patreon page. So, thank you, Burgessou, and thank you all for watching. Mm -hmm.